Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at full size handguns and I have 10 of what I consider some of the best semi-auto full size handguns out there. Check it out, let me know if you agree with my choices or what you think I missed. So let's get to it. We just have to start this out with a 1911 and what I have here is a Remington 1911 R1 Limited Double Stack and 45 ACP holds 15 rounds, check that out. Full size with a 5 inch match grade barrel, G10 grips flared out magwell, has front serrations, fiber optic front sight, adjustable rear sight, an incredible single action trigger and the whole package is amazing with the 15 rounds and the accuracy that this delivers. I love 1911s, I love double stack 1911s and this Remington 1911 R1 Limited is just doing it for me and I think it's one of the best out there. We cannot deny what the Sig Sauer P226 has added to the gun world. It really set the standard for many of the modern pistols. This has been around for a while. And this is a Talo model with a PVD coated slide. It's an ASE Alloy Stainless Elite. An amazing handgun. It comes standard with a 15 round mag. But here's a Mechgar mag that holds 20 rounds. And this is also an SRT model. Short reset trigger. And then here is what we're looking at for... The reset 4.4 inch barrel walnut grips all around amazing package it's a duty gun it's a carry gun it's a home defense gun it's an everything gun and the p226 certainly made its way in the gun world and it's not going anywhere here we have a cz 75 sp01 with the all steel frame 4.6 inch barrel magazines that carry 18 rounds and many people consider this one of the finest shooting handguns in today's market now if i had a shadow 2 and cz i would feature that but i don't but i'm proud to feature this sp01 it's an amazing handgun full size that definitely impacts the target and then here's the polymer frame model that's called the phantom cz discontinued this but I, I hold this in high regard offers many of the same features almost identical except for it's lighter with a polymer frame cz 75 models are incredible and they also set the standard for many modern pistols here we have the first class beretta m9 a3. Many shooters consider this to be the most accurate and softest shooting 9mm handgun ever produced. It has a great reputation with a 5.2 inch barrel, 17 round magazines, a Cerakote slide that looks to me to be Coyote Tan with an anodized frame. Together the package is beautiful. Breda slimmed down the grip, they call it a Vertec grip, made a little slimmer, gives it a nice feel when, when gripping the gun. Standard with a decocker thumb safety and night sights, but at the range is where it really shined. I shot the lights out with the M9 A3. I understand why people love it so much, and this really is a top shelf 9mm pistol. Here we have an XDM Elite 4.5 with the 4.5 inch barrel. Check that out. New from Springfield, an amazing handgun. Has a magazine that carries 20 rounds and a flat face trigger that measures between five and five and a quarter pounds. And we're looking at a reset right there for the follow-up shots. Flared out magwell, U rear sight, all steel, fiber optic front sight, wider slide serrations, a pick rail, a striker fire indicator, a loaded chamber indicator, and a grip safety. The XDM models are known for offering a lot of gun for the money. This Elite model is no different. I think it's amazing, an excellent shooter, and Springfield does a great job, especially with the XDM Elite models. I love the Glock 21 Gen 4 model in 45 ACP. It's got a 4.6 inch barrel and magazines that carry 13 rounds of 45, which is really good. Come standard with Glock sights. This one here has excess big dot night sights. But if you love Glock, you're going to love this in 45 because it has everything that you want. Many people consider it a great home defense firearm and i certainly agree standard glock trigger pull with the trigger bar safety in there measuring right around five and a half pounds with the reset right there and an accessory rail excellent home defense firearm and it sure does shoot nice at the range known for 
incredible reliability in this G21 is no different. Here's another full-size all-steel frame 9mm handgun called the Magnum Research Baby Desert Eagle 3. Modeled after the CZ-75 models, but if you look there, you can see that Magnum Research added their own touch there. That mimics a full-size Desert Eagle. But this Baby Desert Eagle 3 is an incredible shooter. I really do love it. It has an 18-round magazine that I grabbed from the CZ-75 SP-01. Fits just fine. Comes standard with a 15-round magazine, but it's heavy. It's it's accurate it has an incredible single action trigger pull that keeps you on target and over here is a slide mounted decocker thumb safety they call it a teardrop decocker decocks the gun puts the gun in safe mode but an all-around excellent pistol I shoot it so well and it surely has its part in this series I have said for years that the Ruger American line is the best series of semi-auto pistols that Ruger ever produced. And earlier this year, they came out with the Ruger American competition model with a 5-inch barrel. You can see it has slide cutouts that lighten up the, uh, the slide. Fiber optic front sight, optic ready, adjustable rear sight, serrated black, a pick rail, 17 round magazines. Grip modules, very consistent with the American series, a little heavier texturing right there, and a great trigger. I measure right around five and a half pounds. I love the American series. I think Ruger did a great job, and it was very innovative to come out with a competition model, and I think they hit it out of the park. Here we have a Walther Q5 match this one's the polymer frame model they also make the steel frame model that's a big hit but this one here mimics the ppq that so many people love it's got that amazing ergonomic feel cross-directional texturing on the grip it uses the same 15 round magazine a blue trigger which is branded with this gun lightning cuts in the slide fiber optic front sight adjustable rear sight optic ready but it has everything on it that people love with the ppqs the very popular ppqs i might add in this q5 match is a great shooting handgun made for competition has a five 0.5 pound trigger pull a very nice reset it's all walther which is what people want and if you love optic ready competition handguns this q5 match may do it for you here we have a canic tp9 sfx canic claims you can purchase this gun and compete that very same day it even comes with a holster 5.2 inch barrel magazines that carry 20 rounds you can see it has a beautiful tungsten cerakote gray finish there lightning cuts in the slide fiber optic front sight it is optic ready comes with four separate plates and adjustable rear sight it has a striker fire indicator right there that goes away when the slide is no longer charged and a trigger that i'm measuring at four and a half pounds right there with a very short reset an excellent shooter a competition gun that many people love and it is priced right for the working man grand power handguns don't get the respect that they deserve in the gun world but if more people tried them then that would change i think you should start right here with the x caliber it's a full-size handgun with a five inch fluted barrel that rotates which softens the shot 15 round magazines this is also an ambidextrous gun with both the thumb safety and slide stop on both sides fiber optic front sight black serrated rear sights that are adjustable and a single action trigger that i'm measuring at three and a half pounds with a short reset also has a accessory rail right there all together this gun is a confidence builder it is so accurate and when i take it to the range it points so normal i love everything about it i've loved it since day one and grand power really does make incredible handguns so those are 10 of what I feel are the best full-size semi-auto handguns out there. But I also realize that there are many more, and I'm sure that you have a couple in mind. Feel free to share them in the comments, and we'll get the discussion started. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.